China. Uh, President Xi Jinping now, uh, he is firmly uh, uh, ensconced in, in uh, China's uh, uh, leadership for some time to come. He's the man. Uh, is he going to be helpful in your judgment? Is uh, his new stronger position and role, uh, is it helpful or is it uh, a negative uh, for the prospects for a better relationship? My guess is it's a positive given that he has a very good personal relationship with President Trump. That I think is the, going to be the determining factor. There are already very good signs that he's being more helpful with North Korea. They did vote for the last two sanctions. Far as we can tell, they're enforcing them much more stringently than they were before. So those are very good signs. And uh, you're going to be there, I, I understand, oh, sure. yes. uh, uh, for at least uh, uh, the Chinese portion yes. of the uh, of the discussions the president will, will be leading. I, I want to turn, if I may, to another part of uh, what has been another productive day for the uh, for this town, a, a rare productive day for uh, for Capitol Hill, but passing uh, a $4 trillion budget. Uh, right. Talking with Kevin Brady, the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. Sure. I assume you guys oh, get, sure. uh, have gotten sure. to know each other yes, very indeed. well. Yes, indeed. Uh, he's obviously excited, and in two weeks, looking at the markup uh, of tax reform. Your idea about whether that uh, is in prospect or in trouble? I think it's in prospect. I think the vote today told you that. They didn't put any amendments at all. They took it exactly as it came from the Senate, even though they had been talking about quite a few amendments. The only reason they would have had for doing that is to grease the skids for the tax bill. And I think the few neg the negative votes that came were probably mostly over the deductibility of state and local. Yeah, and he and uh, Chairman Brady made it clear to me tonight that uh, he and the president have more talking to do, uh, whether it be 401k uh, plans or whether it uh, be the deduction of state and local taxes. Uh, a, a little chatting still to be done. Well, I think the president was wise to come with a framework rather than a fully blown. Yeah bill, because at the end of the day, it's the Congress that's going to write the bills anyway. So that simply would have delayed things right. and given more controversy to them. So I think the strategy was right. Well, as the Secretary of Commerce, uh, you're doing a pretty good job, I would like to say. Uh, we are watching 3 percent growth in the right. second quarter, likely to do as well, it seems, for the third. Uh, you, you've got uh, amazing job creation. Business is yep. uh, eager to uh, to get things going uh, with the tax reform. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> the, well, was, it's the president who should get the congratulations. I, I thought I'd test you on it's that. His, well, it's his programs that we're trying to implement. Well, it, it is an extraordinary. I, you have to go back uh, to Bill Clinton's administration. You've got to go back 30 years right. to find any kind of achievement at this level. Uh, that's a remarkable, remarkable. Well, it is. Uh, and in the most recent quarter, I think we would have been well over 3 percent except for the hurricanes. You know, you'd think you're a member of the, uh, of the Trump administration. Mr. <laughs> Secretary, thank you so much.